Snackheads here today. I'm going to be showing you how to use the preferences function in the terminal application. This will let you set some very useful things that you might find interesting. First of all, when terminal is open in the active application, you press command comma or apple comma and the settings window will come up on your screen. Right here, normally it'll be on the settings tab up at the top. You can also click windows and groups, encodings, startup. I prefer settings right now. You can see I have a few terminals. Right now, Red Sands, Pro, PCs, Ocean Novel are just some of the Linux terminals I have. Right now, you can see it says Homebrew is my default. You can click default on any terminal to make that terminal your default. And the default is the style of terminal that comes up when you open terminal. Now, here are some preferences for every individual terminal that you have selected. You can see up here there are a few tabs. Text, window shell, keyboard, advanced. These all allow you to set things for the terminal. For instance, I'm going to be demonstrating this to you on BASIC, which is the black and white terminal. Right now you can see the text is black, etc. Selection is blue, the cursor color, window, title is terminal, active process name, TTY name, etc. And you can check off, this is the stuff that comes up on the, um, on the uh, terminal uh, text bar right here. So right here it says terminal. That's the thing we set, the shell, and the size. So right now, let's get rid of the dimensions. I don't really want that command key. No, TTY, active process name, command name. Oh, yes, settings name. So that that's um, a few things at the window. You can set all the things about text here. With shell, you can set a command to come up when you start up. So if you want it so someone gets tricked when they open terminal, it'll just do a halt. And you just do like sudo halt here and it'll ask them for your, or whatever you want. And you normally check run inside of shell, that's supposed to be checked. And um, now uh, here's, here's just some advanced thing. Visual bell means that whenever you screw up and you do backspace too many times, like let me give you an example. The terminal will flash, sort of like this. That's the visual bell. So if you check that, that will happen. Um, you can also add a style, and um, it's a, actually a set of settings, and right now I have high right up here, and it looks it looks just like a, um, a basic at a terminal right now, and we can set whatever we want to with that. Um, right here, this is uh, terminal settings. Of course, you can set other things, startup, etc. I'm actually going to make homebrew my default and and what else you can do that's really interesting and cool is you can um, when terminal is already open you can go to the little terminal icon in your dock I can make my dock a bit bigger hold down the little terminal icon for a few seconds until this menu comes up you go up to new window come across here to the side see these are all the styles you have and homebrew is the cool green one that I normally use. I actually like grass as well. This is what I use on the root user normally. And um, I set it so when um, it starts up, the login program comes up. But uh, that's not a good thing to do actually. So yeah, so that's how to use terminal preferences. Set settings on terminal that you'll find very useful. Um, Thanks for watching Mac Heads and uh, subscribe to our videos right now.